wagon bright Deep in the heart of Texas The prairie sky is wide and high Deep in the heart of Texas The sage in bloom is like perfume Deep in the heart of Texas Reminds me of the one I love Deep in the heart of Texas The coyotes wail along the trail Deep in the heart of Texas The rabbits rush around the brush Deep in the heart of Texas The cactus plants are hard on pants Deep in the heart of Texas the doggies bowl, they bowl and bowl. Deep in the heart of Texas. <sighs> Exciting, ain't it? Can almost hear Corrigan think. I said almost. <laughs> Quiet. Looks like we're going to settle down and die of old age. I'll take it back. I'll take it back. Hey, fella, somebody's throwing lead. Grace, dust is his number being bushwhacked. What's the matter, you two fellas? There's a fight going on. Oh, quit yelling, Alibi. You're disturbing my sleep. There's a fight going on. Three against one. When did you learn to count? Will you two shut up? We're on a vacation. You mean you're not going to help him? Nope. Not while we're on our vacation. Let Elmer help him. How can I send Elmer? He's too young and you know it. And too scared and I know it. And besides, it's your turn to go into town for the supplies. I don't believe they mean it. You know they mean it. I never thought I'd see the day when you two'd go on snoozing when there's folks in trouble. Well, I guess there's nothing left to do but get along into town. finished. Duke, you ride back and tell Denby he's in the clear. Slim and me will get to the ranch.
Who are you? Take it easy. It's a pesky wound you got there. It's lucky the lead didn't stay in. Uh, who are you? Take it easy. I'm a friend. Oh, I remember. The buckboard cracked up. After they shot me, the horses got away. Who was it? I don't know. Three riders. I don't know why anybody... Last two, though. I don't know why. I'm a stranger here. What's your name? Brett Travis. Brett Travis. Yeah. Well, where are you from? Amarillo. I left there three days ago. Well, what are you doing away down this part of the country? I was on my way to Lazy W Ranch. It's around here somewhere, isn't it? I wouldn't know. I'm a stranger around here myself. A lawyer named Danby at Buckhorn sent for me. I was left to share in the ranch. Well, my uncle, Josiah Wilson. We'll see if you get the Lazy W. I'll get a buck board and coach you there. Thanks, mister. Just call me Alibi. Everybody else does. Okay, thanks, Alibi. I hear some water. You take it quiet like till I get back. This ain't likely to move much. Well, I won't be going long. Howdy. I'd like to talk to the boss. Reckon you'll find her up the house. Denby didn't lose any time getting that Evans kid out here. No, he was just waiting word that Brett Travis was out of the way. Hello, Miss Judy. Judy, this is your cousin, Brett Travis. He arrived in Buckhorn a short while ago. Brett, Judy Wilson, who's co-heir to the ranch. I never would have known you, Brett. <laughs> no wonder I was about four the last time we saw each other. Yeah, and I was just about to get into long pants. We're looking forward to seeing you, though. Lazy W, you're welcome, sir. Thanks. Did that man ride up with you, Mr. Danby? I don't know him. He didn't come with me. Did you want to see me? Not really, ma'am. I was just passing by and thought I'd stop in and ask the way to Buckhorn. Who are you looking for in Buckhorn? My Aunt Clementine. That's my marrying aunt. Moved to these parts years ago. Must have had two or three husbands since then. Buckhorn's about four miles straight ahead up that road. Thank you, ma'am. Well, let's go in the house. Wonder who that hombre is. I never laid eyes on him before. Wonder what he wanted. And Judge Carr admitted your father's will to probate, Judy. Now, within a week or so, you and Brett will go into court and establish your identity. Just a matter of form, and the ranch will be yours. I guess I thought Josh didn't want to see her run the ranch alone, Judy. Whatever Dad wanted is right with me, Brett. Wonder where Alibi is. He's been gone all afternoon. Sure has. Well, speaking of the devil, here he comes. Well, he's sure riding like the devil's after him. Maybe he's a little ashamed for being away so long. Vacation's over, boys. I ran right smack dab into a job that needs doing. This time, Alibi, it'll have to be left undone. A young fellow on his way out here to take over a ranch that his uncle left him with dry ghost. Can you stop him, Craig? Well, I could just sort of fill him full of lead. Oh, no, not that. Then a lawyer shows up at the ranch with another young fella masquerading as the one I thought they killed. 
Do you hear him, Greg? Hey? I said, do you hear him? I don't seem to be able to hear a thing. Poor boy's hard of hearing. And there's that beautiful young girl who's bound to be cheated out of everything she owns. What was what that? that? Uh-oh. Mount your horses, boys. A girl's in trouble. A beautiful girl. Can you imagine alibi wasting all this time and somebody in trouble? Alibi? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Where's the ranch? What about your vacation? We had our vacation. Well, what's holding us up? Well, we got to make a stop at a shack where I left that young fellow wounded. Well, come on. Let's get out of here. This year, Brett Travis, boys. Howdy, Brett. Uh, these lawmen? They're help. friends of mine. <laughs> they aim to help you. Sorry you're hurt, Brett. Alibi here tells me that you fell heir to a ranch. Yeah. Lazy W was left by my uncle to his daughter and me. Well, there's nothing left for you to do but to go there and make your claim. Haven't I been telling it to somebody else at the ranch passing himself off with Brett Travis? Well, then all he's got to do is identify himself. Shouldn't have any trouble doing that. I sent all my identification papers to my lawyer, Roger Denby. Well, this here Denby, is he the only one that knew you were coming to Buckhorn? I think so. Couldn't be sure. Can anybody identify you? Yes. Tom Andrews. I worked for him at his ranch near Amarillo. Box A. We'll send for him right away. Not so fast, Dusty. We better find out what this here Denby's up to first. I reckon Craig is right. Do you know any reason why they'd want you out of the way? Oh, not at all. In fact, I haven't seen the ranch or my cousin in every 20 years. Looks like we start right from the bottom, boys. Well, there's two places to begin. Now, here's what we'll do first. Hey, ma'am. Is uh, Mr. Wilson home? My my father died some time ago. Oh, oh I'm sorry, ma'am. I, I can hardly believe it. Why, he was one of my best friends. Won't you come in? Thank you. I don't believe I ever saw you before. I don't reckon you have, or I couldn't have forgotten. <laughs> my name is uh, Kingston. I'm glad to know you. I'm Judy Wilson. Oh, Brett, come in. See, uh, where did you know Mr. Wilson? In, uh, in Dallas. The last time we met, I told him I was thinking of buying a ranch. He said that uh, this part of Texas couldn't be beat. <laughs> I'm sure it can't. This is my cousin, Brett Travis, Mr. Kingston. I'm glad to know you, Travis. Howdy. Where are you heading? Well, I was aiming to visit here with Mr. Wilson and look around for a ranch, kind of. But, uh... Well, I reckon now that I'll... Uh... We'd like to have you stay here at the ranch with us, just as Dad would have insisted. Well, I guess it wouldn't be friendly to refuse such a kind invitation. Brett, would you please take care of Mr. Kingston's horse? Thank you, Travis. Won't you sit down? Much obliged. You know, uh, your father never called me Mr. Kingston. No. <laughs> no. He always called me Dusty. Well, maybe I'd better call you Dusty. I'd, uh, I'd feel more at home. <laughs> I wouldn't want you to feel any other way, Dusty. Oh, you got company. Yes, Granny. Granny, this is one of Father's friends, Mr. Kingston. Howdy, young man. How do you do? Where are you from? From uh, Dallas, ma'am. Don't mad me. Call me Granny. <laughs> Everybody does. You know the Lesters in Dallas? The, uh, the Lesters? No. No, I don't reckon I do. Oh, well, I suppose you know the Chalmers outfit. The, uh, Chalmers? No. No, I don't believe I do. It, 
I guess I never ran across the people that you know. <laughs> you said you came from Dallas. You can't know much about it. Well, you see, ma'am, uh, Granny, I came uh, from uh, from north of Dallas. No wonder. <laughs> South is the best. <laughs> you can't keep any secrets from Granny, so don't try. <laughs> is that thing working again? Uh, Ike. The name's Mike. Well, you can't blame me. Bring me a glass of milk. What? A glass of milk. Why don't you order sassaparilla? Because I can't say sassaparilla. Milk. <laughs> hey, hey, boy. Look, a maverick calf bleating for its milk. <laughs> There's your milk. Did you ever drink milk, my friend? No. Hey, Ike. I told you the name was Mike. Well, Ike or Mike, they uh, both sound alike. Set up another glass of milk here for my friend. I don't drink milk. I said another glass of milk. I'll get some real enjoyment out of this. Drink it. I said drink it. Flies bleak when they get their milk. Why you? Anybody else? You boys really ought to take to drinking milk. Hey, Ike. Yeah, yeah, yes. You got a good lawyer in town? Yes, Roger Denby. Where's his office? At his home on the North Road outside the town. You hear that, my friend? Sue me. Didn't leave that window open. Duke. Turn around. 
That's the hombre. Well, well. The bleating barfly. So you're gonna sue me after all. Shut up. What do you want here? You lawyers wind up with all of the people's money, so I reckoned I might find some here. They have a habit of stringing up thieves in this country. You must have wanted money awfully bad. I did. But I don't now with that six gun staring me right square in the face. Don't try any tricks. No, sir. You got me all wrong, counselor. Seems I didn't have any luck here. I figured you might get me a job. You're likely to find work, but not the kind you expect. Just where do you keep your money, counselor? I'm plumb curious. You see, I could have drilled the both of you. I figured that bar flies, lawyers were no hand with a six gun. Now, if you're willing to call it quits, so am I. Then nobody gets hurt. What's well, a deal? Did you say you'd like to work? Oh, I didn't say I'd like to. But I'm willing. Duke, pay attention to this stranger. You might learn something. I could use a man like you. Did you ever ride the range? Yep. I owned the spread in Montana. I rode for the Bar S in Idaho. And I've drifted from the Rio Grande to the Great Divide. What's your name? Name? Corey. Crash Corey. All right. Take this to Brett Travis at the Lazy W. He needs a foreman and he'll use you. This uh, your ranch? Not yet. Is there anything I can do for you while I'm riding at the Lazy W? I'll let you know when the time comes. I'll feel a lot better having a man like you to call on. And I feel mighty good about it, too. See you later. Thank you, Mr. Denby. Did you want to see me, Brett? Yes, this is our new foreman, uh, Crash Corey. I'm glad to know you, Mr. Corey. Howdy, miss. Haven't we met before? I've been around, sort of. <laughs> well, no doubt you have. Do you work here, Mr. Uh... Kingston. No, Mr. Kingston's visiting. <laughs> well, even the name sounds familiar. Well, I'll recollect sooner or later. From now on, I'll be at your service. You look big and strong enough to do whatever you set your mind to, young man. This is Granny. Mr. Crash Corey. Howdy, Granny. I think we'll be able to manage things all right. And there's things that need managing. Oh, well, there's nothing uh, wrong with the race that I can see. Maybe you can't see far enough. I suspect this Crash Corey here can. You and I are going to do all right, Granny. I reckon I'd better get along and get things started. So long. Good day, Mr. Corey. Nothing to do? Not much. I'll fix that pronto. Get down. I'll teach you men to move fast. Hey, see, you're moving faster already. <laughs> now, if you don't mind, get mounted. We're riding out to the north range to look over some cattle. Know him, Dusty? Know him? Know who? Mr. Corey. Oh, uh, I've been a wondering. I seems to me that I met him a couple of times in San Antonio, but he was always in hot water over some gal. Sounds intriguing. But you want to be on your guard, Miss Judy. Oh, I think I know how to handle men. Yeah, I reckon you do. Well, if I'm going to look over any ranch properties, I better be going. Bye. Hey, Craig. 
Christ, you've been waiting on you. Sit down. How'd you fix to get this job anyway? Oh, my personality. You know, my smiling personality. Have you found out what this Denby's up to? Nope. So far, not a thing. Have you seen that phony cousin? I left him on the porch with Judy. Hey, Crash, maybe he's got Brett's identification papers. Maybe. You better get back and keep him busy while I find out. All right. I'll go in and tell him the story about the blonde gal who got you in jail in Yuma. <laughs> oh, if you do, I'll tell him a couple of stories. Now, just you... You better just sing to them. Folks always get sleepy when you sing. Oh, yeah? Well, let me tell you something. Uh -huh. Now, Dusty, there's no time for arguing. You just get back there and keep him on the porch while I go hunting. What do you think they were after? Well, I don't keep a thing here worth stealing. Then there can't be much harm done. <laughs> no. Nah. You coming, Brett? No, I think I'll straighten things up and turn in. Go ahead. Howdy, Miss Judy. Any sign of the intruder last night? No, not a trace of it. Well, I hope it won't happen again. Oh, I'm sure it won't. <laughs> Say, is that Mr. Kingston still around? Yes, he is. You really think you know him? Seems like I met him down in Tucson. He was in some sort of a trouble about a girl. It's the way I recollect. And you think you ought to warn me against him? Well, how did you know I was thinking of that? Oh, <laughs> just my womanly intuition. But you boys do get around. Dallas, San Antonio, Phoenix. Now, there must be some other places. Well, I reckon I'd better get out on the range. Well, if you'll excuse me, Miss Judy. Oh. 
Howdy. How are you? This is the Lazy W Ranch, isn't it? Yes, I'm the foreman. Mr. Wilson wrote us some time ago that he wanted a survey made of his ranch. Now, this is the first opportunity what that I've had. What kind of a survey? For oil. Oil? Yes. Yeah. Wilson wrote us he thought there was oil on his property. Oh, I'm sorry you had to make this trip, but Mr. Wilson was killed accidentally about two months ago. Oh, that's most unfortunate. Tell me, where can you be reached later? Well, I have another job at Saddle River, about 30 miles west of here. I figure I'll be there about a month at the Palace Hotel. Palace Hotel. Well, I'll look you up later, as soon as things get settled here at the ranch. Fine. I'm very sorry to hear about Mr. Wilson. Thanks. So what they're after is oil. I'm going to search every foot of the ranch until I find the spot. Did you say you worked for a Tom Andrews near Amarillo? That's right. Well, we'll send Andrews a wire asking him to come to Buckhorn. I'm sure he'll do it. But suppose this, um, this Denby is tipped off about this wire. Well, we'll send an alibi to some other town to send it. Listen, Chris, maybe that oil just don't show at the surface. Oh, it's got to. Or how would Wilson have found it? Well, here we've been out every day for a week looking for it, and we haven't found a sign of it yet. Yeah, I know, Dusty. But we'll just have to go out again tomorrow. Let's get back to the ranch. Okay. That makes the title of the Lady Debbie Judy's and mine. Well, I guess I should congratulate you both. Yeah, well, we'd better get this into the safe, Judy. We come with us, Dusty? Thank you. Shake hands with Bill Ames. Howdy. Hello, Mr. Corey. Is Judy home? Yes, she's in the house. Will you water the horses, please? Yes, sir. We met somewhere, Kingston. I don't recollect. I had sworn I knew you. Well, thanks. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have to see about my horse. Well, certainly. I want to see you in my office tomorrow, Brett. Oh, well, of course, Mr. Denby, sure. I just rode over with Mr. Ames to say that I would be able to throw a little money your way, Judy. Well, we could use it, couldn't we, Brad? Oh, we sure could. I figured I might lease that north section of yours to run some of my new herd.
Steve, watch it. I've got it. I've got it. Got what? I know who those two hombres are. One is Dusty King, the other is Crash Corrigan. Two of the range busters. <laughs> and to think that you gave Corrigan a job. That's one on you, Roger. If I know the range busters, they're after you. They'll play me for a fool, will they? I'll have everybody in my office tonight. We'll give them range busters a reception they don't expect. Yeah. You just have to be patient, Brett. Oh, but I've been cooked up here so long. Here comes Crash. Hiya, Brett. Congratulations. You're going to be a rich man. We found oil on your land. And that's what Denby and his gang's been after. It won't do me any good. I can't prove who I am. Brett's right, Crash. After wasting three days at Mesa Springs, I finally got a wire that Tom Andrews died natural. Yeah, that's bad. But knowing about that oil, and these to back us up, we'll give Denby and his gang plenty to think about. And you'll get a crack at those hombres at last, Brett. Alibi? It's time to take Brett over to the Lazy W. I brought a horse for you from the ranch. Tell Dusty we're moving in to corral the gang there. And from there on, you take over. It'll be a pleasure. Okay, let's go. I'm riding in to get Denby. Good luck. Good luck. Denby said, get him. That's as far as you go. Take your hand off the gun, Dusty King. Oh, so that's how it is. Only worse. Range buster. Start for that shed. into the ranch and act natural like and ask for Kingston. Tell Dusty and I'll circle around on foot and come in the other side as fast as I can. Okay, Alibi. Hold it, cowboy. All right, get in there. Right into town and tip Denby off that we only got one of them. I wonder where Corrigan is. Well, if he shows, shoot first. Good morning. Good morning, miss. I'd like to see Dusty Kingston, if you please. Well, uh, he, he's around somewhere. Will you wait? Thanks, I think I will. Someone to see Dusty. All right, put your hands up. I said get him up. I recognized this army when he first rode up. He's wanted for those stagecoach robberies. You made a mistake, mister. You can tell that to the sheriff. Who are you? I'm Brett Travis. Brett Travis? Who do you think you're fooling? Nobody. I tell you, I'm Brett Travis. We'll let the sheriff's office decide that. I'm going to find Mr. Kingston and see if he knows this young man. Oh, he was just covering up when he was asking for Kingston. We can soon find out. Well, if you see Mr. Kingston, bring him down to the sheriff's office. I'm going to take this hombre in.
So you don't want to tangle with Corey again, huh? The boys will take care of him. You get out of here and help them before the range busters finds out who killed Judy's old man. Come in. Well, hello, Corey. Hello, Mr. Denby. I'm glad to see you. I was just going to send for you. I had something on my mind. Thought I'd ride in. Yes? About this scheme that you're fixing up. Am I in? Why, I don't believe I understand. You will. You sent me over to the Lazy W because you thought I was smart, didn't you? That's right. Well, I've been doing a little bit of investigating on the South Section. South Section, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, what'd you find? Oil. Oil? Oh, yes, of course. I, uh... You're all right, Corey. You're in. Thanks. Just one other thing. I'd like to be in on those identification papers belonging to Brett Travis. You're crazy. Come on, Denby, quit stalling. Get them. Not so fast, Corrigan. You better not move. Drop that gun. Crash, Corrigan. Get him up. You know that alias Corey didn't fool us. We're even, Denby. Those hombres that killed Judy's father didn't fool us either. his number up. The other one's holding in at the ranch. These men know too much. I've got to get out there and see if they spilled anything. What do we do with this one? Drag him in there till we get back. Somebody showed up. Who you want? I'm looking for Dusty Kingston. I think you'll find Dusty locked up in that shed yonder. Are you surprising me, ma'am? I've been surprised myself. First, that young fellow and Dusty gets locked in. Then, a young man rides up and they run him off to the sheriff. Looks like I ought to do something about it. Looks like somebody ought to, if you ever expect to get this mess straightened out. I'll be moving along, ma'am. Don't call me ma'am. Call me Granny. All right, Granny. Looking for Crash Corey. He's riding range. Well, I'm looking for Dusty too. Hey, alibi! You're just in time. Get me out of here. Get over there and let him out. Be quick about it. All right, cowpoke. Now you get in there and sit a while. Come on, get. 
There's your artillery, Dustin. What's going on here? We haven't time to explain now, Judy. That travels in a heap of trouble, miss. Well, there's something I'd like to get straightened out. Judy, if you'll get a marshal out here as quick as you can, everything will be explained later. You said he was taken care of. I didn't do a very good job. Well, we will now. Hey, that looks like the other two range busters. Why, well, can't be. Well, it's them all right. I'll circle around the ranch in case Judy needs some handling. You boys go get them too, and don't make a mess of it this time. Get Riding hard. Can you make out who it is? Yeah, that's that lawyer Denby. Well, I'd better go get him. You keep on and find Craig. Don't you treat him too rough. We may need his testimony. I'll just massage him gentle like.
goodbye, Dusty. I knew you were up to no good the minute you got here. Dallas. <laughs> I shouldn't have told you I came from Dallas, Granny. <laughs> I knew the same about you, too. <laughs> but I knew better than try to fool you, Granny. When you got here, I knew that I was right. With your help, we made a good fight of it, Granny. Goodbye and bless you. I'm expecting to see you all back at Lazy W. Ride well, ride far, and ride straight. Thank you, <laughs> Granny. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye, Granny. Goodbye, Judy. Goodbye. Bye, Brett. So long, Alibi. We, we hate to see you go. Oh, well, well Judy, if uh, you and Brett figure we ought to stay, why, maybe we could help you get the ranch running proper like. That's right, Judy. Maybe we'd better ride range for you a while. Brett and I'd love to have you stay at Lazy W. Sure, you don't have to go, do you? Well, uh, no. No, that's right. We don't have to, do we? No. Somebody's a throwing lead, come on! <laughs> 